Hi, it's Penny here. So in my last March wrap up, I said that I was going to unhaul 15 of the books on my physical TBR to try and get it down closer to a more manageable number. So I thought I'd just quickly make this video to go through which books I'm unhauling and give you the chance to tell me if you think I should keep any of them. Also, Danielle, if you're watching this, then uh, if you want any of these, let me know. So let's talk about them. Firstly, we've got a few here that are classics and I've kind of decided that I just don't need to keep them, even if I read them at some point. They're classics, they're always going to be easy to get a hold of. The first one is The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn by Mark Twain. I haven't read this. I just don't think I ever will, even though it might be interesting. Uh, I also have The Secret Garden by Frances Hodgson Burnett. I feel like I read this as a kid, so like we could just say I've already read this, right? I mean, I have watched the movie, so I know the story about these children finding a secret door with a secret garden, but I'm just not going to read it anytime soon. I also have Captain Nemo's Fantastic Voyage 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea by Jules Verne. This is one that like, I feel like I would like to read it, but then I look at it and I just think, oh, that's going to be painful. And again, if I wanted to read it, I could probably get it from the library and read it. So there's no point having it on my physical TBR sitting there making me feel bad for not reading it. Then I have this set of books by Catherine Kerr that I got from a book fair. Um, I have four, the first four books in a series because I was so excited. Look, it's all four books of the series. I'll be able to read them all. And I got them like two years ago, three years ago, possibly more. And I haven't even looked at them. I suspect they're going to be really dense fantasy. And I just don't have the motivation for that at the moment. I mean, it does look like it has dragons in it. And they all say a time in it. Maybe there's time travel. I like time travel. But I just think somebody else could have these books and enjoy them much more and much sooner than I am. Uh, I also have this standalone by Catherine Kerr, which is called Snare, and I don't know what this one's about, but again, probably a very dense fantasy, so not going to get to it anytime soon. And next, we have a little set of contemporaries that my mum has given me at some point. I just don't really like contemporary. I think some of them are contemporary, maybe some are historical fiction. I don't really like that. I don't know much about these books, so there's no point keeping them unless you say differently. Um, the first one is Undercurrents by Tara McKinley. Looks like it's set in Australia. Um, we also have The Bird Sisters by Rebecca Rasmussen. Oh, I used to have a friend called Rasmussen in, in primary school. Anyway, that's not relevant. This one, I don't know, the back looks really boring. Oh dear, that pile's getting high. We'll move it. Uh, and then also A Watermelon, A Fish and a Bible, which is the one that I thought was probably historical fiction, something to do with a war. I've had it on my shelf for a long time and I keep even putting it like, oh, I'll read that next and then not reading it. So it's not happening. Then I also have one fantasy book that I picked up at a library book sale and that is The Grass King Concubine by Carrie Spearing. Um... I think I bought this mainly because it was published by Door, and at the time I was a big fan of Door as a publisher. I mean, I suspect that I might like this, but it's, again, just big, thick fantasy. I'm not excited about it. There's so many other books that I'm more excited about, so unhaul. And then the next book I have is one that I bought purely based on the cover, and that is Special Topics in Calamity Physics by Marisha Pessel. So Marish Pesso is the one who wrote Night Film, is that right? Um, I bought this purely because it's beautiful. Um, I kind of like the title, sounds interesting, but I think it's like contemporary, maybe historical fiction. It's really thick. The writing's really small. Oh, hmm. it's got a special note in here with somebody's phone number, a couple of people's phone number, and I think their address. We won't share that on the internet, but that's been in there since I bought this from the book fair a long time ago. So we're just not going to read that. The next one I've got is actually one I put on my January TBR and it didn't happen. I read like the first chapter 
and I'm kind of sad that I didn't like it. Uh, it's that is Tales from the Arabian Night. It's an absolutely beautiful book, and I want to know the story, but I started reading it, and I wasn't enjoying it, and I could have pushed through, but it's like 600 pages, and I do not want to push through 600 pages, so I'm kind of sad to unhaul this. Of all of these, this is the one I'm the saddest to unhaul, just, I think, because it's a beautiful cover, and it's a story I was interested in, but sometimes life is disappointing. Then the last book that I have here is this big thick one, Unfettered. I think this is a bunch of short stories by like heaps of famous authors like Terry Brooks, Patrick Rothfuss, uh, Brandon Sanderson. Oh, Brandon Sanderson. I didn't know Brandon Sanderson was in here. This one may have just redeemed itself right now. I think I bought this at the time because I was a big Patrick Rothfuss fan and so I got it for the Patrick Rothfuss. But maybe... I will read whatever Brandon Sanderson one is in here and then I will unhaul it. I think I'm still going to unhaul it. I'm not going to read like, this is so thick. I'm not going to read the whole thing. It will just, it, will ne it, it just won't happen. But maybe I could just read the Patrick Rothfuss one and, oh, it's even signed. Really? Maybe I got this as part of the um, World Builders charity thing that Patrick Rothfuss does. I must have got it through that. Oh, I don't know whether I can unhaul this now. Maybe I'll read the Patrick Rothfuss story and I'll read the Brandon Sanderson one. Here is Brandon Sanderson. And maybe I'll read some of the other ones. Maybe I'll just I'll tell you all the authors and you tell me which ones might be worth reading. Um, so there's Terry Brooks, Patrick Rothfuss, Tad Williams, Carrie Vaughan, Jacqueline Carey, Peter V. Brett, Peter Arulian, R.A. Salvatore, I think is how you say it, Todd, Todd Lockwood, Blake, Ch Ugh, words are hard. Blake Charlton, Daniel Abraham, Kevin Hearn, Mark Lawrence, David Anthony Durham, Jennifer Bosworth, Robert V. S. Reddick, Alden Thompson, Naomi Novik, Brandon Sanderson and Robert Jordan, Michael Sullivan, Lev Grossman. Oh, Lev Grossman wrote The Magicians. I, I didn't like the writing of The Magicians at all, but I really liked The Magicians as a story. Um, and then Sean Speakman, who also edited this. There was a few in there that I actually do want to read, so I think now... Maybe I won't unhaul this, but I will just read those short stories. But I don't know when. And I don't really want to put this back on my physical TBR because I want to get that number down. Well, this book is causing me trouble. But other than that, I'm going to get rid of all the other ones. Let me know what you think about this one. What should I do with it? Am I actually going to read it? Short stories aren't that hard to read. It's signed. I should keep it, right? Right? Anyway, the lighting's getting a bit crazy in here because it's looking very dark outside. Those are the books I'm unhauling. Let me know if you think I should keep any of them. Otherwise, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.